What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, we got to talk about Hulk Hogan and his shenanigans once again. Uh, he was recently on uh, Logan Paul's um, podcast, and uh, he said some things. Now, I haven't watched the entire podcast. I may check it out uh, later on. I'm not sure. It just depends on how I feel. But I did see this particular clip circulating about wrestling fans being forgiving and him talking about Chris Benoit and how forgiving fans, wrestling fans are. And uh, yeah, for those who don't know what he said, I'm going to play this clip. Um, it's not really long, but you get the gist of what he's trying to say. And it's, it's mind blowing. Just when you think Hulk Hogan can't say or do something stupider, he finds a way. He's been notoriously known for lying about certain things, and now he's saying some stuff that's just like, what are you doing, bro? We're going to uh, check this out real quick. It's a short clip uh, from the actual podcast, and y'all got to hear this nonsense, man. This is this is actually nonsense. Let me, let me play this. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. but it, it's, it's uh, the wrestling fans are very forgivable, you know? Um, if Chris Benoit can do the crap he did and the fans still love him, you know, they're very forgiving. You know, I've, I've made some major mistakes in my personal life and yep. they're very, very forgiving, but they forgive you. But, um, a situation like this with him for, you know, for instance, if I just wanted to open Monday night raw and all of a sudden Brock Lesnar's music started and Brock Lesnar's going to be a baby face too. Yeah. Was to say, I don't know who the bad guys are now. I, can't, I don't know all of them, but whoever the number one bad guy is, if all <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Who's yeah. the number one bad guy? Probably, probably Dominic or Solo, Solo, Sokoa. Yeah, bloodline. yeah. Just like if, if the Bloodline came out and, and you know you got the old man standing in the middle of the ring going, "Hey, brother, welcome to Monday Night Raw," or whatever I'm doing. Yeah. And and all of a sudden they came out and just grounded the piss out of me and pulled the rag off my bald head and started shaving my, my mustache off. He came and hit the ring. And he got the rub, the red and yellow rub. Done. Doesn't matter where he's been, what he's done. It's all about getting that right rub at the right time. It's all a timing thing. So, you know, it's, it. I, I can't wait to see him turn your baby face. It's oh, going to be. So I'm guessing he was talking about maybe Triple H eventually turning him baby face. So here's the thing. I'm going to talk about the Brock thing. The Brock thing makes sense in what he's saying only because there have been talks and rumors of potentially bringing him back. And WWE is not opposed to that. Even though he's in some allegations with some certain things involving Vince, they still wouldn't be opposed to that because of who he is. And I'm willing to bet there are still a lot of people that wouldn't trip. I know. I know there's a lot of people that would not have any problems with Brock Lesnar coming back. The question is, would everything be resolved? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So we 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 don't know. But to his point on that particular subject, yes, I can see wrestling fans forgiving Brock, even though he wasn't officially confirmed to have done some of those things. I can I can still see fans forgiving him. They could they would still find a way to try to push him. They just needed timing to kind of let things die down. Of course, there will be people that bring up, hey, ain't this the guy that was over here trying to, you know, piss on uh, Janelle Grant and all this other stuff? Like, he knew what was Vince was doing, blase, blase. So, of course, there's going to be people that bring that up. I don't know how many of that will be. But, but, definitely for sure, there will be a lot of more people Happy that he's back. I've seen it. I've seen people say, man, I, I hope they can get Brock to come back so he can face Gunther at one point. I've seen it. And that may end up happening. Who fucking knows? But the Chris Benoit situation, no. No. That, that, was, a, that was a horrible, I guess, scenario to bring up, and comparing himself in that regard. Like, you know, I've done some horrible things, but if fans love Chris Benoit and the stuff, shit he did, you know, you'll be good. Like, no, no. 
There are some weirdos out there that be like, oh, oh, we should forgive. No. And I'm not sitting up here saying that people don't deserve forgiveness. But his last acts involve killing his wife and killing his child. No. And if his other child didn't happen to not be there, who's to say he wouldn't have killed him too? No. No. That's a heinous thing to do, regardless of what his mind was going through or how, you know, his mental was not all there. Regardless of all that, he planned this. So, no. There are people that are saying, oh, we should forgive him. No. Let, let that be what it is. You ain't got to hate the guy, whatever. Let that tragedy be what it is. There's no way on God's green earth that WWE will ever mention this man on television ever again. They will not show no clips or nothing. I forgot what it was some, I think it was, I don't know if it was a Monday Night Raw or PLE or something. I don't know if y'all remember somebody had like a Chris Benoit shirt on or something related to Chris Benoit that I believe they make they made him take it off because he was on the hard cam side. And then I think during the pandemic era, during the, like the, where you could sign up to be one of the virtual fans, someone had a Chris Benoit picture up there. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, no, no. So for him to say such ridiculous things, oh yeah, man, that people forgive. Who? It's a minority of people that are cool with what happened with, with Chris Benoit. Like on some, oh, it, it is what he is. He's still one of the best wrestlers. We know that. But it's a very small minority of people that are just like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. So, no. No. You're wrong on that one, bro. That's no. Wrestling fans are forgiving. But if it's something like that, no. We're, we're, I, I, I'm willing to bet there are a majority of fans that know about the situation would probably be like, nah, I'm good on that. I'm good on yeah, I know what he did. Like, I don't even go back watching Chris Benoit highlights. If it if I it happens to be a part of a compilation, cool. But I don't go actively out my way to watch it because it's nothing that I I really care to watch anymore. Because it's cool. He did some amazing things in his career, but how it ended is very very tragic. Very tragic because innocent life was lost. So. I get what he's trying to say, but that comparison, he should have probably just went with the Brock comparison or somebody else that had some troubles in the past in WWE and they were able to overcome it with the perfect timing of booking and situations and how things planned out. But Chris Benoit, as your example, oh yeah. I mean, fans love Chris Benoit. Look, look what he fucking did. Who, there's some, but it ain't the majority. That's, that's, a, that's a reach. Mr. Hoekster, that's a, a very big reach. And I guess he's over here talking about anybody can be a baby face. Yes, you can do it. It just depends. But Logan Paul's a natural heel. He's a natural heel. Like some of the stuff he's been involved in. He's a natural heel. It works better as a heel. He does not. People are going to boo him. People want to boo him. So I don't know. But yeah. Hulk Hogan's all, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with him, bro. Are we surprised that he says some wild shit? Fuck no. It's fucking Hulk Hogan. Comment down below. Let me know, man. What y'all feel about what Hulk Hogan said? Do you feel like wrestling fans are way too forgiving? And do y'all do actually feel like wrestling fans now have just, you know, they're okay with the Chris Benoit situation? Because I've seen a few but not too many people that's just like, yeah, we want to see Chris Benoit highlights. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how y'all feel about what Hulk Hogan said. But I appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.